Uh, Douglas, I don't know about you, I, I just find them unbelievably irritating and increasingly so. I think there are a bunch of attention seekers who love just getting in the papers, and that's fine. Uh, but why is the state and the police tolerating it in the way that we seem to be? Well, I'd go slightly further than you, Piers. I mean, they are a sort of end-time apocalyptic cultist movement of a kind that Londoners and others have seen throughout history. People who go gibbering through the streets, screaming about the imminence of the apocalypse. And uh, I don't have much time for their views. And I think that their method of protest increasingly, of course, means that uh, more and more members of the public don't have much time for their views. Freedom of speech, of course, everyone defends it. Freedom of protest, everyone defends it. But you do not have a right. Uh, I, I have strong views on a whole range of things. I don't have the right to go and sit in the middle of the M24 and tell everyone else uh, to go, you know, hang whilst I decide to tell them how they should go about their day or ruin their day, I'd be hauled off the motorway in a moment, and quite rightly so. Uh, the freedom to protest doesn't extend to disrupting the lives of everyday people trying to go about their business. And uh, I, I, just, I just can't understand why they think that they're advancing their cause. Uh, uh, I, I, at any rate, think that we still haven't had one even reasonable person uh, emerge from the just stop oil and et cetera, et cetera, yeah, movement. Every time you get one on, they're a sort of gibbering wreck. Well, also, they get very abusive very quickly and turn it all very personal, when, in fact, I try and explain, I don't think your methods are working, but I agree with a lot of the message. And so it's a campaign I think would get much more public support if they weren't just being so deliberately irritating to the public and obstructive to the public's ability to go about yeah. their day-to-day -day life. I, mean, I think that incident today, where you saw a guy who's in a car with his apparently his pregnant partner and they get, I think, hit by a, a, a lorry behind them. So there's a collision, a crash. And she gets out, this pregnant lady, yeah. and is remonstrating with the thing. And this guy clearly loses his rag. Now, th the violence he then commits is unacceptable and most people would agree with that. But I can certainly understand why he's reached a, a point of boiling rage. And you well, think, yeah, well, where course. are the police here? This protest has been going well, on for God knows how long that morning. Why have the police not intervened to stop this particular incident then happening? It's because the, the guidance that the British police have had in recent years has consistently been to protect the protesters oh, from the general public, rather, rather than uh, pr protecting the general public from having their lives repeatedly okay, Do you dis, remember you know, what happened uh, when we them? had protests around the murder of Sarah Everard? Do you remember the police treatment of those oh. women? There. Yeah, I remember absolutely. it very well. In fact, and this continuously happens quite a lot. We have astonishingly now draconian rules about protest. And it was not that long ago, no. I remember, where you know a lot of the, the subjects and debates that we've been having was about are the left snowflakes, they want to shut everyone down, they want to cancel everyone, we you know want to protect free speech. What happened to the free speech defenders? The right to protest is genuinely at risk no one's, in this no country. No one is saying they it can't protest. It is at protest. risk in this country. No, no one's saying they can't protest. Because when just say people are objecting, a false objecting to them, causing literally, that, as in today with this incident, a car. That was a false it's, equivalence it right there. It incredibly uh, small-minded when you say, oh, you know, was, people are trying to go about their day and there are people basically literally standing here saying, all I want to do is highlight the fact that there are going to be millions, hundreds of millions of people no, who will die well, look, if we don't change course right now. Lots of, and you say, oh, but this person might not get We all have strong views. We all have strong views on a wide range of subjects. As it happens, the policing of the Sarah Everett case was, was a classic p a case of the police getting it wrong. Everybody admits that. The commissioner had to step down after it. Mm -hmm. Th that was people p protesting peacefully, as it happened, during a period of lockdown. But the point is, with, with, the, uh, with the Just Stop Oil people, is they do have a kind of protection because it seems that the advice that the police have repeatedly given uh, the, the, the leader of the police forces in Britain has been that because climate change has become such an obsession of so many people in Britain, you might lose public uh, uh, sympathy for the police if the police were that's... seen to be cracking down well, too okay, hard look, on we've, we've got to move on to the second and, part of this, uh, of this segment. We've got to move on, but I, all I would say is I think it's time the police got these protesters off busy streets. Honestly, I think right? this otherwise, just too. Otherwise, what you're going to see, I'm seeing a rising number of incidents of the public yep. taking the law into their own hands, and we're going to end up in a... Speaks... We're going to end up in a very bad situation, which will be a lot worse than the video we saw today. I can guarantee it. Most if someone people... is stopping someone getting their, you know, their wife maybe dying and they're racing her to hospital and they get stopped by Just Stop Oil protests, there's going to be a very yeah. unpleasant Most incident. Most people on the right are actually very illiberal. And this is actually going to be interesting when we 
move on to this next segment well, let's because move to... everyone says we want a small okay. state, but when it's the state right. stamping its boot on someone to... in the street, it's Allow fine. me to move us on to the next Sorry, part of the Pitt. debate. That is your thank job. you, Grace.